what's going on people how you doing let's get this stream underway man let's get started nice and quick i think i already know what i want to say for the tweet it's going to be something about the uh, the featured crystal uh who is all in this thing man and we've got some good champions in here but there's no wolverine there's no scarlet witch um, so, yeah, man, let's get a tweet out. Dearest Rats Marvel Champions. Um, hey, just a quick heads up. Um, it seems like you, uh, forgot to add Scarlet Witch to the featured... Five star crystal. Um, to the new. Hey, just quick heads up. Seems like you forgot to add Scarlet Witch to the new feature five star crystal. Yes. Oh no. No. Do it. All right. Look at that, man. We got a tweet out. Almost, almost under the minute mark. Almost. So close. It was uh, one minute and eleven seconds. Actually, no. It was like one minute twenty, whatever. Anyway, dude, Kai, with the fuck, dude, this is about to be a back to back. <laughs> slap. That is the back to back slap right there, man. Two in a row, Kai. Thank you, man. Much appreciated. William Pap also sent in over a buck. So close, William. So close. <laughs> saying good evening bg slap me man dang i missed it <laughs> you did miss it uh kai just saying what's up bg what's up dude they added movie vision instead is movie vision in there um did i miss him i did miss him there he is yeah they've got so war machine i did i did not pick him up as a five star when he was in the arena uh, but then we have Vision Age of Ultron as well. So there's two exclusives in there that I could get. Um, those are tech champions too. Could actually really use some, some new tech champions to rank up. Is that it? I think that's it. I think those are the, the two. I mean, I'm missing the newer champions, of course. But... Just in terms of uh, the exclusives. Uh, yeah, I don't have either Vision uh, or War Machine. I've gotten either of these. That's cool. So yeah, alright, cool. That gives me two champions to target. Nice. But anyway, I'm, it's not like I'm popping open those crystals right now. I just was taking a quick gander over yander. You know what I mean? Brain, speaking of a new feature, Crystal, want to check the tweets? Easy, sure, dude. Open one, I dare you. No, I double dare you. You double dare me. <laughs> I can't turn that down. Psych! All right, let me see. What do we got here, though? Uh, ooh, already getting one of them exclusives. Dude. Oh, okay, okay, you opened up 15. I was like, are you kidding me? These are, the, these are like, the four you got? Um... But I see. It was 15 in total. Still, really good haul, man. You've got three new champions here. Three as in, like, you know, brand new champions. And then you got one of the exclusives in War Machine. Cool. Nice, dude. Uh, hmm? Hmm? <laughs> Are you going to be doing anything with these? I'm curious. Anyway. Solid. You nerfing the crystals? Pixie Bell. Of course I'm nerfing the crystals. Yeah. Lone Fool's BG, you're not buying those crystals? I mean, not right now. I think I'm going to open them up on Thursday. So... Actually, never mind. Let me not Let me not even say. I was about to, was about to talk about content. <laughs> no, let me not learn my lesson. I'm trying to learn my lesson, at least. Uh, Christopher Cordova sent it over to saying, BG, how are you, sir? Chat, please. Uh, Christopher. Let's see. Where is your chat message? 
doing good, by the way. Hopefully you are too. I don't see any chat message. It must be coming after the super chat. I'll be on the lookout for it. Be watching and waiting. It sounded creepy. <laughs> I'll be watching you. <laughs> BG, my man, would you rank three and max uh, out six star Aegon if you already have a maxed out five star? Only did completion run of Abyss. Uh, what do you mean by max out? Do you mean like SIG 200? I don't think he needs SIG 200 for the Abyss. I would rank him up though. Yeah, I would take him to rank three. I would maybe take him to SIG 60 if you, if you could, but uh, honestly, even, even SIG 20 is probably all right. Um, but I would do it, yeah. Uh, BG in chat. What's up, homies? What's up, Jack? What's up, BG? I have a question about Ghost. Is she a good character? She's one of the best characters, yeah. It's got a unique playstyle that's not for everybody, but um, otherwise, she's incredible. Hear me out if Night Thrasher Synergy gave Darkhawk a guaranteed null mode at the start. Darkhawk would be god tier, and I would rank 3 him. Someone call Kabam. I'm on it. I got him on speed dial. I'll make it happen. Don't you worry. <laughs> Now that, dude, yeah, that would be very strong. That'd be incredibly strong. GG finally managed to complete Cavalier monthly quest and push him for completion on 6.3. Uh, what would be the most difficult fight for you on that chapter? I, I can't tell you, dude. 6.3, that was quite a while ago. I don't remember the most difficult fights. Um, plus the, the, the ones that were the most difficult, they got nerfed. So, uh... Uh, I don't know which one was most difficult. Christopher, I still don't see a message from you, by the way. Uh, let me double check things. Oh, man, I got no message. Did you mean Twitter, by any chance? No, he didn't mean Twitter. I don't see, I don't see a tweet from you. Uh, maybe it didn't go through because YouTube sometimes doesn't send the messages. But um, I, got, I got no other message other than the uh, Super Chat. Uh, I'll continue to be on the lookout. Uh, Jack, 705 of them Australian bucks. Thank you, dude, saying, BG, Karina's challenges so far have been quite fun. Except today. Oh, no, dude, which one? Which one are you doing? Uh, doing the three-star Cyclops one, and I'm at the collector. This fight is stupid and frustrating. I want this one to do six-star gem for her. Dude, it'll all be worth it. That's, um, at least you have something really motivating you. Imagine if you had to do that and, like, you didn't have a use for that gem or something. <laughs> so, dang, dude. It'll all be worth it in the end. But, yeah, I hear that one's pretty nasty. I hear it's uh, a, a giant load of BS, basically. Um, I have to. I was thinking about that one um, to do soon as well. Because I only have three left. I have the Cyclops versus Collector one. I've got the Kamala Khan one, and then I have the Star Lord versus Labyrinth one, and yeah, Star Lord versus Labyrinth. That's that is the uh, the last one I'm gonna do. So, uh, but I do want to wrap those up. Uh, I wanna I wanna get at least if I could have things down to just the Star Lord Labyrinth by the time like Summer of Pain rewards pay out. Um then yeah, I'll feel pretty good. Like I can just hop in there whenever I whenever I want to, like if I need to, uh, and, and get it done. I'll still take my time, collect some revives, potions, all that kind of good stuff. But if it ever came down to it where I just wanted to blast my way through, um, at least I would only have the one challenge, you know? Anyway, good luck to you, dude. Good luck. Oh, Christopher, here we go. Reposted because kabammed, BG. Uh, are you vaxxed yet? Yes. I uh, just got my first shot, uh, going to be getting my second as soon as the uh, bar turner comes back. Are you kidding me? <sighs> really, dude? Oh my god, boo, dude! Terrible. Take a freaking lap. You can take both your shots with you. Boo, dude! Christopher, boo! Terrible. Mm -mm. Take two laps, dude. One for each of those shots. Boo. Uh, Kai sent it over to you saying, Karnak needs to be nerfed. 
Call up Abyss ASAP. <laughs> what? The message don't even make sense. <laughs> Call up the Abyss. Oh, crap. Did I die? Damn. <laughs> Call up the Abyss. It's time to nerf Karnak. Oh, man. All right. I'm on it. I've got the Abyss on speed dial as well. I'll make it happen. <laughs> He's too good. He's just too good. Uh, let's throw in the higher ranked champs at this point. Uh, why is it all messed up? Come on, man. I hate this. The way the, the help is, the way the champion... Oh, my God. So annoying. Do you guys remember before they had the uh, persistent sorting? Oh, man. I'm so happy they added that. That's still, like, the best feature that they've ever added in all of MCOC right there, man. It's so nice. Uh, anyway, Reese sent it over a buck. Thank you, dude. Saying, I was exploring 6.4 today and used five revives because I was too lazy to take off ouchies for a special connoisseur of void match. I think we've all been there. <laughs> Everyone that runs the ouchies. Um, yeah. <laughs> dude, I remember I was running suicides. And I ended up spending 3,000 units. I, I don't know if I would have had to spend... Uh, I don't know if I could have gotten it done in zero units, but I for sure would have gotten it done in less than 3,000 units. Um, Road to the Labyrinth, like the final chapter or something like that. I was using Black Widow for most of the fights. A champion that has no bleed, no poison immunity. Doesn't deal insane amounts of damage, and you actually want to use her specials because you need that damage uh, increase from them. Uh, I was just destroying myself. I spent so many additional units, and I kind of didn't care because uh, that was my first time streaming. Um, or maybe, actually, I think it was my second time. I think the first time was the dimensional rift. I think it was my second time streaming, but I, you know, it was just so fun streaming that I didn't even care. Um, but yeah. I cared afterwards when I thought about it. Uh, but alright, Kai, sending over another five. Kai, thank you, dude. Saying, I heard we were telling jokes. No, you heard wrong. Who told you this? Karnak? Don't make me nerf him twice, dude. What? Look at this. Why is Angela... Never mind, I think that's on me. Because, okay, yeah, 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 P.I.Y., all right, all right, I must have just grabbed. But still, why why are you not going away? <laughs> oh, man, maybe because it's, all right, I'm on rank, I guess. That's probably what it is. All right, all right. Maybe this is my fault. Um, there we go. Sorting fixed. Except now there's five stars in here. And you can see clearly <laughs> I'm on this. Dude, all right, fresh that. There we go. I think, I'm fi I, think I finally got it, guys. Finally got the hang of this thing. Whew. They're minor bugs, but they're still um, confusing and frustrating nonetheless sometimes. Anyway, uh, Kai, I heard we were telling jokes. Here is one. Uh, no. Quake is completely balanced and is not overpowered in the slightest. Now there's a joke right there. I can't even boo it. Can't even boo that. Um, oh man, all right, there we go. The the game was uh, stalling on me. Still taking forever to get into this fight. Man. I'm still not sure how much of it is the game and how much of it is my phone at this point. I still feel like my phone's pretty good for everything else, but maybe it has gone to that age where it's, it's, it's uh, just slowing down for MCOC. I really can't wait for the uh, the next uh, iPhone announcements. We're only, what, like a month and a half away or something like that from when they normally do it? Anyway, hello BG, what you reckon on putting about 300k 5 star shards into the cosmic and tech crystals uh, to get my fave character and still didn't get them? So, uh, do I continue grinding? My luck absolutely sucks. Well, here's the thing. This, 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 yeah, it's unfortunate that you didn't get the champion you wanted out of 300,000, uh, five-star shards, but 
you actually only have a less than a 50% chance to get the, the, the champ you want with 30, 30 tries, right? That's what we're talking about here. 30 tries, and there's more than 60 champions in that crystal. So, uh, still sucks, still feels bad, but I'm just telling you this so that you know going into it what to expect, because that's actually normal, I would say, is uh, that you haven't pulled the champion yet. Now, if you go, uh, like, another 30 crystals and you don't see the champ, well, then, yeah, your luck is absolute garbage. Uh, but it still happens. It still absolutely happens. Um, I mean, I opened up... I don't know how many I opened up for Aegon, but I still never even technically got them. I just got them from the, uh, the Drunk Legacy Guarantee Incursion Crystal. Agree on Persistent Sorting? I thought they were going to forget about it from last year's roadmap. I thought so, too. Yeah. I My faith was uh, starting to... <laughs> start, starting to wane a bit. Uh, that they were ever going to add it to the game. Uh, time for an update. Phone. It is. It is time for an update. Um... Like I said, it feels like my phone is is still fine in. I got, you know what? Actually, I I don't use this phone for anything but MCOC pretty much. My other phone, this one, my actual phone that's connected to cellular. This one, yeah, it needs to be updated. I I need an upgrade. Um, the seven plus is no longer cutting it. We're they're about to come out with the the thirteen this year, right? It's too many numbers in between. I can't do that kind of math. That's uh, a little, little, little too advanced for me. But feels like that's a lot of numbers in between. It's time for the upgrade. Uh, BG, can you check my username? First off, I can't check your username. Second, if you spam like that again, I'm just gonna ban you from the chat. Come on, man. Have some respect for other people in the chat. Don't spam like that. But uh, no, I'm not gonna look up your username. I don't look up anyone's usernames. There's not much I can tell from it anyway. Um, the better thing to do is Twitter. I don't see every tweet, just like I don't see every message in chat. But uh, uh, it's easier to actually look at the account. Or even if there is something in the profile to look at, I can still play the game while looking at Twitter. Whereas if I look up the account in-game, I can't play anymore while doing that, so... How the duck isn't great, but he did pick up bleed immunity with the buff. He's pretty solid, actually. He's not like top of the line, most commonly played champion ever, or something like that right now. But uh, he's actually pretty solid. Did you remember that time me and you started that massage parlor in Reykjavik, Iceland, and we accidentally stocked up with motor oil on accident? I do remember that, but. We ended up turning it into a, uh, a, a, a muffler and oil change shop, so it all kind of worked out. Turns out that's exactly what Reykjavik was, was lacking and what they needed. And uh, that's where we made our first million. It was an incredible journey. Sometimes you just get lucky like that, you know? Sometimes you just get lucky. BG, is Domino good without synergies? Define good. Wait. <laughs> um, yeah, sort of. So here's the thing. If you have every single mutant champion in the game, uh, I put her somewhere near the middle of the pack in terms of mutants. However, if you don't have a lot of mutant champions, then yeah, she's actually still strong relative to like the other class types in the game. Still powerful, still can get you through a ton of content, and does not need synergies. Um, her, her synergies are nice. She's got that uh, the Domino Trinity, or whatever you want to call it, with uh, Red Hulk and Massacre. But some of you might not even know this, because I tend to talk a lot of crap about Domino that I don't enjoy uh, her animation and stuff like that. I've played Domino a fair bit. Um, actually, and I never really played her with synergies. Of course, I've tried it out, but, um, yeah, I, 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 every time I played her, it was always just solo. Uh, 
Uh, do you ever get strange people begging to be banned? Yes. Happens a lot on Twitch. Wondering if it happens here as well. Occasionally. Uh, I think people on YouTube are a lot more chill in general compared to Twitch. That's not even a bad... Th I'm not even saying, like, you know, talking crap on, on Twitch. I think the platform's great. I think there's a lot that YouTube could add from Twitch. But, um... In general, I do feel like there's a lot more chill people on, on YouTube. But, of course, you still have uh, some people that are not so chill. Part of it, I think, is the game you play, too. Where MCOC, I think there's a lot of just chill people playing MCOC compared to other games, too. Uh, all right, Hollow Skeletons, and in over a buck. What up, dude? Saying, I finally best Labyrinth, not 100%, but initial clear. Well, nice, dude. That's awesome, man. Uh, congrats, dude. Congrats. So follow up from last night. I got myself chocolate cake. Brian ate my chocolate cake. This is... No. No, 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 no. This is not true. First off, it was a, a, a cupcake. Okay. Second, I took one bite... One and a half bites. I took one and a half bites because you said it wasn't that good and I wanted to try it to see for myself. That is it. Do not lie to Man these people. Beats. Do not tell them that I ate the whole damn thing. I would have. <laughs> I will admit that. I, I basically asked Laura, like, you want this? Because <laughs> she said she didn't really like it. So I was just looking to get her out of the jam, you know? You don't want to throw away food. You don't want to waste it. So I was like, yeah, I got you. Turned out to be half the cupcake. No way. It's one and a half bites. They weren't even big bites. Um. <laughs> but anyway. Uh, Fluffy Monster sent over Buck saying, Beaver, how the... Tinker Mother Mo Arya? What does that mean? Yes. Anyways, some say that if you play and then just turn left, the right might go zoom for the speed that comes after the cheesecake. You know, because of chills. Also, because Frozen is always warm. Fluffy Monster, I don't know if... You know what? Let me just finish it. Happy warm birthday. Fluffy Monster, thank you so much for for the warm birthday. It is a warm birthday. It's actually super toasty today. You know what? It's been a little while since I had to uh, stream with the window open, but it's actually really hot today. Um, give me one sec, guys. I need some air. Whew, maybe that'll help a little bit. Here, we can see. You can see it's not, I'm not quite uh, dripping like I was that, that one day where it was like the hottest day um, of the year or whatever, but you can tell it's, 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 it's glistening up there, man. It's hot. It is hot. Anyway, Fluffy Monster, thank you very much for the warm birthday wishes, even though it's not my birthday. Uh, Logan Self, Santa 05, saying a slice of apple pie is $2.50 in Jamaica and $3 in the Bahamas. Uh, these are the pie rates of the Caribbean. Okay. Yeah. Logan. Take yourself for a lap. Boo, dude. Also, boo myself. For the way I phrased that. But still, boo you, dude. Boo you. I'll join you for the lap later. Boo. Uh, Skiat sending over a buck. Saying, tweet, tweet. Uh, Bob Graham? What the Who the heck is Bob Graham? But alright, I'm on it. Let's see. What do we got here? Shout out to the Stingrays Alliance. And my six stars are coming along pretty good. But I have to wait a little bit to take Hercules up to rank three. Dang, dude. Got him all the way at SIG 121. Damn, dude. Damn. 
That is, uh, that is a powerful Hercules right there. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. There was another picture here. Yeah, uh, I wouldn't say your six-star roster is, is coming along. I would say it, it, it already, it already went. It already, <laughs> it already came along a while ago. Dude, your roster is freaking stacked. You know, looking at it, just, like, how many silver stars are we looking at on this screen? You know what I mean? <laughs> Your roster is looking good, dude. Looking real good. Oh man, that the window really helped. I already feel like it's uh three degrees cooler in here. Uh it was still cold from the fridge. I was letting it uh get to room temperature. Oh. Well. I still could have helped you out. Uh, Reese, send over two, say, last two kind, sir, then I'm back to the grind. Sure. Reese, let me see. Let's see, let's see. Uh, as someone with a PhD in physics, I can say that cold is, in fact, often warm. Very deep thermo thermodynamics here. Dude, not only is that word too big for me to understand. It's too big for me to pronounce correctly. <laughs> There's too many syllables in in both thermodynamics and warm. Bo both of those words. Too many. Um, hold on. What was the second message? Side note, how many battle chips does it take for Cav Arena Crystals to be worth it? Uh, let's see. Cav Arena Crystals? Are they Cav or are they Throne Breaker? I'm, either way, that's what that's must be what you're talking about, right? The 50k ones. Uh, 50k. I would say. I I don't I like. There's. It depends. If you're really desperate for units right now, then yeah, there's there's a higher chance of you being screwed just because of the way things will average out in the long run. Like you you might. You might, you might get gold first and then, you know, get a pile of units later or something like that. Um, but I don't know. For me, like, for me, I, I don't really play this game uh, in a short-term mentality. So for me, I'm, I'm always going to open up eventually enough crystals for it to just balance out. And I'm not really too worried about it, you know? Um, but if you're need if you're in need of units right now for like a, an offer that just came around or something like that, um, then yeah, it might be better if you're just looking to secure uh, like an average number of units to go for the crystal where has a higher chance of you know averaging out for a uh, for a low number of, of battleships. But otherwise, yeah, I I. I for me, it's it, it doesn't matter, and I just pop open the highest crystal. That said, I haven't popped open those crystals yet. Um, what does matter to me is I like to pop open one of those crystals at the end of the night each night, and I still pop open uncollected just because uh, my battle chips would never go up if I popped open a throne breaker every night. They'd be going down instead. So, um, but yeah, I don't think there is a minimum other than the minimum to get the crystal. You know? Problem with the 50k battle chips thing is the Punisher dupe. You get the same amount of ISO from the 10k crystal. This is true, but I also think the gold amounts were uh, increased by like 2% or something like that to, to make up for it. Um, if you really need the ISO... And not the gold from the ISO. Like if it, like if you're selling that ISO, then I then I think yeah, you can still go Throne Breaker. But if you're actually using that ISO, um, then Uncollected will give you the most ISO still. Hey Lefty, what's up, dude? Thank you very much for the five man saying hey BG. Whenever I go golfing, I like to bring two pairs of socks, just in case I get a hole in one. Lefty. Yep. 
know where you could take those socks? <laughs> oh, man, come on, dude. Boo, dude. Why? A hole in one uh, Lefty. Well, you might need three pairs of socks. In case you get a hole in one on this lap. Boo, dude. Absolutely terrible. GG, Sentry is in the new featured 5-star. I think his buff is coming in September? Question mark? Uh, I don't know. So, Sentry... Everyone thought he was going to get buffed a while ago when uh, Kabam John, the balance uh, designer, he, um, he uses Sentry as like a profile pick. I, that dude's a bit of a troll. I mean that in a good way. John's awesome, but he does like to uh, he does like to have fun. He does uh, he does like to troll the community a little bit. And uh, part of me thinks that maybe he's just been like planning this buff all along, even though the buff wasn't coming right away. He just wanted to get people's gears turning, and then right when we're like, oh, I guess Sentry's not getting buffed. Bam! Hit us with a uh, with a sentry buff. Um, I don't know though. It's he could also just be in there because well, they're just rotating champs around, so it's hard to say if he's actually gonna get buffed or not. Um, even even the uh, the people in the CCP, we don't usually get that info until right before you guys do. Actually, not even. <laughs> Usually that stuff gets leaked before we uh, get the official word, but yeah. Uh, Kai sending over another three, saying Twitter please. Also saying why did it do that face? All right. I sometimes ask my face that all the time. All right, let's see. Your band really knows how to make a guy feel unlucky. Yeah, I really needed this. Was this out of a... What crystal was this out of? Was this out of a Max Sig crystal? Or was this just a just a, the five-star awakening gem? Uh, hey, man, this is only two. Honestly, I still like five... Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, okay, okay, yeah, you still got a lot of mutants that could be awakened. Um, it's not a total waste, man. This is not a total waste. Nope, just a five-star awakening gem? Okay, okay. Dude, the way I look at it, mutant resources almost never go to waste. There's so many good mutants in this game, and the other thing is like, okay... There's a lot of bad mutants in the game, too, right? But I think... Kabam... I think they know they need to bring it whenever they add another mutant or buff another mutant. They know, like, okay, what are, what are the chances that this champion's gonna be useful? They need, to, they need to actually be good. They don't need to be, you know, as overpowered as, like, Apocalypse or something like that. Um, but they need to have some kind of special utility or... Like they gotta, they just they gotta bring something to the table. So, um, champions like Rogue and like Beast, Psylocke, that are uh, not so usable these days. I know there's some fans of those champions, but uh, for the most part, they're not that strong, right? Um, I don't know. I, I I'm kind of excited when they go back to buffing mutants. As crazy as that sounds. <laughs> because we have so many already. But it just feels like... Like even Bishop, right? We just got Bishop and... Pretty good. Pretty damn good. Needed a Mystic 1 for Doom. Okay, well that is a bummer. But at least he doesn't need to be awakened. It's just a nice luxury to have. Uh, Simon sent over 100 yen saying... Sorry, Twitter 2, please. Sure. No need to apologize. Takes me two seconds to go to Twitter. 
Uh, hey, BG, here's part two of... Oh, I'm scared to look at this, dude. Part two of Japanese pizza toppings. Oh, boy. Like, I... Like, I... I, I I'm just getting it off the screen. I don't know what it is. Just kidding. Let's look at it. Uh, on the left is... Uh, Mentaiko... Mayo? Mayo? I don't know how to read this. <laughs> I should have just stopped at I don't know how to read, basically. Anyway, uh, pizza, which is cod roe and mayonnaise with seaweed on top. Excuse me, just a moment. Okay, um, I'm better now. Seaweed on top, and the right is... Uh, Shirisu pizza, which is boiled baby sardines. Oh. Uh, delicious. Cod row equals cod fish eggs? Oh, okay. So, I feel like this almost looks good. Um, but it doesn't come close, actually. <laughs> like the way they have the, the cheese here, the way they're the way that it's melted. Uh no, and the crust. Oh my it's just, just bad all around. Okay. This I don't want to hit like on this. I'm going to do it anyway, but... Oh. Uh. Simon, why, dude? <laughs> Have you ever eaten those pizzas? I'm curious. Or do you just like to look at them and think... What the heck's going on? That's one misleading ass picture? It is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sounds effing revolting. It sure does. No! That is a sad pizza. <laughs> oh, man. BG got a bisque uh, crystal today. Okay. Chose Mutant and Pult, Apoc, Namor, Professor X. Uh, are the best ones in the Nexus. Which one should I pick? And all are new. Sheesh. That's not my reaction. That's that's the account name. That's the username here. Uh, sheesh. I don't even know, dude. Uh, Apoc, Namor, Professor X. Which one were? Which champion were you going for? Those are three great champions. I. I feel like unless you're looking for the absolute highest prestige, you don't go Namor. You go with Apoc or Professor X. But of course, if you are looking for, like, if you value prestige above everything else, well, your choice is kind of already made. But that's about as best I can narrow it down, dude. Um, Apoc or Professor X are going to be the stronger pulls. Namor is the stronger uh, prestige pull. Take your pick. They're all good champs. Uh, EG, would you uh, would you rank two or rank three undupe six star Angela? Yes, I had her at rank two on Awakened. I was gonna take her to rank three on Awakened, but uh, I luckily awoken her. Becoming Thronebreaker in a month from Summer of Pain. First will be Guillotine 29, but Angela could be next. And I'm looking to do 7.1 and 7.2. Yeah. Um, I think if you run the Suicide Masteries, it makes more sense to rank up Angela. Even without Suicide, I, I mean, she's plenty fine. But um, because of the way her healing abilities work, she actually heals for more uh, when you have the Suicide. So that's why I say that. Um, but yeah. I, um, I think it's worth it. BG, he asked me to do it, so don't get mad at me. Pixie Bell, if someone asked you to time them out, then you did the right thing. 
Uh, hello, you wonderful bald man. How are you tonight? What's up, Superman? Ah, oh, dude, thank you for the super chat as well. Uh, by the way, last night from two side quest cavalier crystals pulled six star OG Thor and long shot back to back. Gonna believe it, my luck lately is crazy, dude. From the cav crystals, OG Thor and long shot as six stars. That's freaking awesome. Yeah, your luck is on fire. I mean, pulling any six star out of a cav crystal, but pulling two in a row? Pretty damn lucky, dude. Can't say can't say it's ever happened to me. Can't say uh Wait, I think I did get one six star out of out of a cav at some point. During my mass crystal opening, maybe? God, I don't even remember at that point. There were so many crystals in there. Anyway. Dude, Mojo, go away. This unstoppable buff. Uh, yo, BG, tweet. Sorry if I spam this topic. Also, I just caused a Flashpoint Paradox 2.0. Wait, what? Flashpoint Paradox i2.0 playback speed on live stream. Oh, I don't know what that means, but okay. Uh, Jesse, let's see. I don't think I have a tweet. Nope, I don't have a tweet. I've looked at... Uh, actually, I've looked at every single tweet since the stream started. There's been four in total. Either you forgot to tag me, or your Twitter account is set to private. Um, but yeah, if it is set to private, then you have to unprivate it. Or make it public, whatever whatever it's called, right? Make it public, and uh, then send the tweet again. Because all tweets, while the account was set to private, stay private. Unzo Challenge, you got 6-star Nebula, I think? Uh, I... I... Is that where I got Nebula from? God, I don't even remember. Uh, that sounds about right. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. Uh, I sent you forty-five dollars. Huh? Did I miss a? I don't think I missed a, a super chat tonight. Uh, or or stream labs. Either way. When I say super chat, I mean I mean both. Either or. Yeah, I don't think I did. Uh oh, joking. Okay. Well. Haha. -ha. Did Fury's eye patch uh, come with the bald cap? It did. Yes. Uh, we can set you up with that if that's something you're looking for. Yeah. What's up, BG and chat? What up, Static? Decided to pick up the five stars Sigil Witch today and awaken to her. Haven't played her yet, but I'll take her up for Arena soon to mess around with. Interesting. You didn't want to hold out for the six star version? I'm guessing you're going to get both either way, so. It's actually not a bad idea. Can give you a few more Arena points now if you're looking for them. And. Just allows you to uh, awaken the champ with a gem real quick, right? Give you an idea of what you're going to get into for the six star. Um, we're going to start seeing more of those soon, I guess, huh? I, I kind of forget about the sigil witch because I, you know, of course not having the sigil. It's, it's, <laughs> there's not much to think about, right? <laughs> But uh, I, I, I'm sure once it hits that point where people start pulling the, like, the six star, I'm going to hear more about that champion. I kind of like, actually I really like the fact that like we don't have access to that champion, the CCP. Makes it more exciting. Where it's like, uh, I don't know, the, the, there hasn't been that time uh, in advance. To, like, figure out all the best places to use the champ and stuff like that. How to use Hercules? Eat, sleep, conquer, repeat? That sounds about right, yeah. 
Uh, someone please tell me if OG Black Panther is any good. He's not bad. He got buffed recently. He, he used to be garbage. Now he's not bad. He's, um... He's a little above average, but not quite there with the best of the best champions. So, if you haven't pulled too many champions yet, you could still get some pretty good use out of them. Um, until you pull some, some other ones. Uh, BG, been coaching football. These kids started with full contact. We had two kids quit and say, mm, yeah, I don't want to play anymore after the first day of hitting. I could see it. <laughs> Man. Um, I wouldn't have quit because, well, we did play tackle football. I never played for, like, a team or anything, but... I mean, me and my friends sometimes would play tackle football with, you know, without any pads or anything like that. But honestly, thinking back on it, oh man, that was so dumb. <laughs> no one... Well... I was going to say, I don't think anyone got like a concussion or anything like that, but actually I have no idea. I remember, I remember there was quite a few times where like <laughs> people would just like walk home just really not feeling great <laughs> you know like they didn't like they didn't break any uh bones or anything like that but you could tell they were just walking kind of funny um <laughs> so i wonder what kind of damage we did anyway static said it over buck saying well i wanted to wait but i won't be taking up the six star anytime soon even if I had her, and the arena points gained in the 10 weeks between getting a 5 and 6 star will be in my favor. It's well worth it. Yeah. You know, I just never thought about it, to be honest, man. That's what caught me off guard. But, you're right. Like, it's... it's um, I think it's a good move. Uh, did you hear about the passing of Joey Jordison today? No, I didn't. What happened? That guy's not old, right? That's the... If I, I I mean, I think that's the drummer for Slipknot, right? I'm not super familiar with the band. Um, just because I never really listened to their stuff. But drummers, I... Uh, like, I've, like, I've watched uh, videos of them and stuff still. Hold on, Googling this real quick. Dang, dude, he was only 46. That's crazy, man. Uh, oh, that was yesterday, huh? Dang, man. Pretty sad. Uh... I was trying to look into what happened, but uh, uh, screw it. it. Doesn't 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 say without doing a little bit, slightly more digging. Dang, that's a bummer. So young, dude. Um, Brian, do you still complete all uh, of them arena milestones? Uh, I realize a I uh, don't like the four star arena. Uh, no, I mean, I never, I never completed all the milestones all the time. It was something that, uh, I tried to do as much as I possibly could, but, um, it's actually been a while since I've been able to get all the milestones. Uh, I haven't done it a single time since the arena changes. Um, I would like to get back to, to, to getting more units. I've just been... <sighs> Busy making stupid content. <laughs> Busy making content that's not even on the channel yet. I'm, I, you know what? I'm just gonna say it. I think this weekend, guys. I think this is the weekend. Uh, died in his sleep. Dang, man. I mean, I always hear that 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 sounds like a peaceful way to go. If you gotta go, but, jeez. Still so damn young. Uh, 
Okay, they haven't re revealed the details. Okay. I mean, to be honest, I, I you know... I was just looking for the details a little bit, but part of me, as I was looking for it, was thinking like, is it really any of my business though? And that's why I didn't really want to like click on anything. It's like, yeah, it's not my business. So yeah, I, uh, I think that's probably good. Let the family uh, keep it to themselves. Uh, IBG level up event was today, and I rank 5 my SIG 20 Angela. Nice. Also runs suicides. Any tip on how to use her effectively? Yeah. She's super simple to play, man. All you need to do is, like, you want to use your special ones, but you want to you want to get as close to a second bar of power as possible. And then just use your special one. Here's what happens. Here's why you want to do that. Um... You gain a you gain a fury buff. Uh, you actually gain a fury buff, like while you're above one bar of power, but you can gain like a like a like a temporary, and you can get another fury buff by using the special one. Um, this way you can you can like stack up an additional fury. Uh, that's pretty much it. There are times where it is better to go for a special two or even a special three, but. There's not a like a huge level of difference between all three. Like you don't have to just strictly focus on the special ones if you really don't want to, or if it's an inopportune time to throw a special, it's not the end of the world to hold on to it. But uh, typically, you do want to throw the special one, and you want to do it as you're close to a second bar of power. That way, when uh, you start hitting the opponent again, you get back above that one bar of power threshold. And you can stack up those Furies. Um, well, when I say stack up the Furies, by the way, I don't mean like, 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 don't spam the special one as soon as you get it. Every time you use it, you pretty much want to wait until you're close to two bars of power, because you can only gain one additional Fury that way, not, um, um, uh, no, you know, nothing beyond that. Uh, Doofus Puncher, standing over five. Thank you, dude. Same BG, I figured out you're a ghost. What? It was obvious when he walked through the door. Okay, Jesus, dude. <laughs> Doofus Puncher, come on, man. Boo, dude. And P.S. I'm Thronebreaker finally. Hey, I almost don't want to congratulate you after that terrible joke. But you know what? You take a lap. And I'll congratulate you when you come back. Because boo, dude. Boo. Do you ever think we will see a playable version of the Collector and the Grand Master? I don't think so. And I, I hope that we don't. Unless it's for a special piece of content where they create some sort of storyline where we where we have access to playing as either or um, for like a quest. I always thought it'd be really cool if um, uh, like all right, well, actually let me back up for a second. I I, I like it. I like when, when like, environments in worlds are alive. And we don't really have that so much in MCOC. Because we don't really have a, a world, right? Like, it's... The, our maps are... They're just, like, connecting dots, basically, right? Uh, this is not an open-world game. Which is understandable. I mean, it's it's a mobile game. Um, <laughs> I don't, don't expect it to... I mean, you know, like, they, they're getting to that point, right? Marvel uh, Future Revolution or whatever. Um, but, yeah, they're just starting to get to that point. Anyway, I still would like the, the maps to feel a little bit more alive than they do today. And, uh, one of the ways that I think they could do that is not something they would do all the time, but 
you know how like the the messages pop up as you as you pass by certain spots and it'll just have a little bit of story dialogue well how cool would it be if they were like Listen, man, I've I've been I've been watching this guy. I've been watching the uh, the Grandmaster from afar. I don't think he knows I'm here yet, but you're gonna need some help. There's no way that you can take this out by yourself. Let me join you, and together, you know, we'll we'll form like a little temporary alliance, and we'll take down the Grandmaster. And then suddenly, yeah, you have like. Instead of five champions on your team, boom, you got a sixth. Um, now, I'm sure tech-wise, that would take a lot of work for Kabam to be able to pull that off. Uh, there's like a few different systems at play there that they would have to um, tinker with uh, to be able to pull something like that off. But I, I oh, God. If, if, like, just imagining that it didn't take any time and they could just wave a, a, a wand over the content and add something. Hell yeah, I would love to see that. But uh, as far as, like, a permanent playable character of the Collector or Grandmaster, I'd rather not. I'd rather just keep them as these bosses that are, you know, it's, they're, they're like the rulers of the contest. I don't, I don't want to, um, have them in my own personal collection. I want to fight them. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Uh, anyway, Kai sent it over to the five cent. I just remembered a random feature in this game: ambush. Yes, uh, it's been so long since I've been hit with that. Yeah, they don't really use ambush anymore. It's funny. In in some ways, the the map has felt less alive. Ambushes. I think I think a lot of us kind of moaned and groaned whenever we saw an ambush, right? And I'm sure the devs saw that, and I'm sure the devs playing themselves going through a quest are like, dude, this ambush sucks. Why did we add it again? <laughs> Let's remove it. <laughs> um, the old quests, they still have ambushes, but the new quests, like, none of them have an ambush. Um, I Believe it or not, I actually want to see more ambushes. But I want some of them to be positive ambushes. I mean, it kind, kind of like the one I just mentioned, right? You don't know that that's going to happen. There's nothing... There wouldn't be anything on the map. You would just be... Ambushed by uh, a potential ally. Same way you could be ambushed by someone that has a, a little bit of... Uh, um, healing for your champions and stuff like that, right? You, you, I mean, they, they, they probably wouldn't be called ambushes. The way the uh, the text pops up for like someone actually fighting you, but it can start out feeling the same way where you're like, damn, I don't know if this is gonna be a good thing or a bad thing. I don't know, it just makes it feel more alive. So I'd actually like to see that more. I'm sure most people, if I had to guess, would probably say, no, screw that, dude. Don't ever bring ambushes back. Let them let them rest. <laughs> but I still I like that kind of stuff. Uh, dude, we're getting raided by Hobbit as well, saying, uh, hashtag Hobbit raid, Sabertooth challenge done. Hell yeah. Hobbit, nice, dude. Did you open up that crystal too? You know what? Don't even say it. Don't spoil it. Uh, but congrats, dude. Congrats. I think you only have one Labyrinth challenge left then, right? Uh, we're, we're, we both have the, uh, the Star-Lord one to go. Stee Attic Center of Buck saying, BG, what if the next progression of champions was not another star as we know it, but rather a red single star to denote the next stage of progression? So, first off, I want to say that I like it. Second, I think the chances of Kabam doing it. I wouldn't say, like, it's impossible for us to see it, but I do feel like it might be a little low. Because, of course, the way that Kabam makes the most money is by selling the champions, right? Or selling a chance <laughs> at the champions. They don't, they don't really sell chance. Well, the sigil. <laughs> but, but, like, for the most part, they're selling chances, right? Um... So, 
I mean, it, it, it does seem like they're trying to open up other ways to monetize the game. So maybe, maybe they realize that too. Like, hey, even though we do make most of our money off of selling these crystals, people are telling us they really don't want to see seven stars. So yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe there is a decent chance and maybe, uh... They will add some. I, I mean, they're they're definitely adding something to six stars, right? Well, maybe not exclusively to six stars, but we already we already know the relics are coming, right? So it's definitely not out of the question to see something like that, a uh, a, a red star system, where that red star is like the equivalent of addition uh, of a of a uh, an additional rank, or uh, a potential new ability unlocks um i personally i really want it to be something that is uh customizable but we're kind of already getting that with the uh the relics i guess so we don't need we don't need like an infinite amount of customizability as long as we get in some way but like let's say the the red star thing right Let's 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 kind of spitball on that idea a little bit. So there's uh, six stars, right? Let's say you can you can turn all of them red eventually, and um, you get to like pick which one to turn red first, and which like and the, like each one of them corresponds with a different boost to your champion. You know, so you can you can decide. Maybe a couple, maybe some of them are just purely stats. A little bit of attack, a little bit of health, something like that, right? Depending on the champion, maybe a little bit of block efficiency, something like that. Uh, and then others could be enhancements to other types of abilities. So, yeah, I mean, there's, there's plenty that could be done there. I don't know exactly uh, uh, what you had in mind with the red stars. Probably, probably something similar, right? Um, so yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I would love to see stuff like that. Uh, Kranos sent an 5 too. What's up, Kranos saying, I wonder if we will see Nameless, King, Groot, Hyperion, or Scarlet Witch in the game. Uh, they seem a bit challenging for the Summoner Showdown. Uh, wait, 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 wait. what do you mean in the game? Uh, in what, in what, what, do you just mean, like, hold on. Do you just mean as, like, other fights besides the Summoner Showdown? Or do you mean, like, well, yeah, never mind. I was gonna say, or do you mean, like, we can get these champions, <laughs> but two out of three, we already can get, well, actually, I don't know, Hyperion and Scarlet Witch, they are kind of not released as higher star levels. Um... Uh, I guess I was just thinking about Nameless King Groot a lot. Uh, but yeah, are you just talking about like fighting them in a, in a quest again, Kratos? It has been a long time since we got to fight those champions. Um, I wonder, like Summoner Showdown, it got delayed. I feel like if we were going to see those champions in game, unless Kabam also changed the, the, the quest quickly enough, but I don't think they would have done that. Um, I feel like they would have, they would have been on, on one of the quest maps already. So, I don't know. I don't, I don't think we're gonna get a chance to fight them outside of Summoner Showdown. Um, but I guess we'll see. Yeah, fighting them in quest or content here. Okay, okay. Yeah, if I had to, if I had to guess, purely a guess, I would say we're not gonna see them in questing content. We're just gonna see, well... Um, oh, okay, actually, never mind. Scarlet Witch and Hyperion, they're nameless too, right? Duh, I'm an idiot. The way I was reading it was like, nameless King Groot and then regular Hyperion and Scarlet Witch. Oh man, I'm a fool. But I still, I still don't think we're gonna see them in any content before Summoner Showdown, if I had to guess. Only because Summoner Showdown got delayed and yeah. I feel like the other content, they would not have needed to delay it. So. 
Oh, we'll see. You get to have a bunch of tries at it. Uh, at least. Um, it's mostly for the for the competition, too. It's not even just like a quest and completion thing. So I was talking lower for a sec. Um, but yeah, if I had to guess, I don't think we're going to see those champs. Uh, Dragon Sand and over a buck as well. Same idea that would make me love ambushes. Uh, ambushes drop special items. I.e. tier 4 basic pieces, tier 4 class catalyst pieces, higher level potions, um, tier 5 class iso. Almost like a a little bonus challenge. What if you got to opt into it? Would that make it better? Because maybe if you're really hurting in a quest. And you're like, you know what? I, I rather just get out of this quest. <laughs> I don't want to fight this ambush. Oh man, I see Static saying like the Luke Goblin from Golden Axe. Oh dude. God, I love Golden Axe and that Loot Goblin <laughs> his little sack. Um, oh, that sounded bad the way I said that. Uh, ugh. Anyway, what was I going to say? Um, uh, here's here's the only problem with that. They, they would have to only do it once because otherwise people could repeatedly farm it. Um, but if it was just a one-time thing, then I think it'd be fine. Or maybe it's a one-time thing for a certain type of reward, and if you hit that ambush again, then it's just like, all right, you're going to get a little bit of heal. You're not going to get, you know, as long as it's not, like, repeating the items. Because um, otherwise, yeah, I think that's a great idea. I think that's, I think that's really fun. Um... One other slight negative to it is that the devs they would have to inc they would have to include that in their calculations for rewards, right? And um, some people they 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 only want to look at like the one page for like the total rewards or something. <laughs> so it almost seem like there'd be fewer rewards, but there wouldn't be. Maybe Kabam would just have to add that to the UI is like, all right, yeah, there's like an ambush bonus if they added that in there. And then that problem solved or something. But I like it. I like ideas like that. I, I like I said, I just I want the, the, the map to feel alive, and that's one more way to make it feel a bit more alive. So Um Dude. Kai, did you send over a hundred bucks? Saying shout out to Laura for saving PG's life. We are forever thankful. She did save my life. Uh, I didn't even read those messages, but she was talking about a very large spider being in here. Um, that she took care of. <laughs> Dude, Kai though, man. Thank you, dude. Super generous. Thank you very much. Uh, man, there's... Alright, there's some other super chats. I'm a little bit behind it, but Kai, thank you so much, dude. Actually, you sent over another one, too. So I need to start buying stuff for my college dorm, but I have absolutely no idea as what to get. Thoughts? Oh, man. Um, not books. What else besides not getting books? Uh... <laughs> No, I don't even know, dude. I I never had a dorm, but I think you're allowed microwaves. Right? Is that is that is that allowed? Um dude, as long as you got some kind of food. 
Uh, bed sheets. Laura's saying, yeah, we need some bed sheets, man. Uh, always gotta have some clean sheets. Doug saying milk crates for shelving. Actually, yeah, I didn't. I never had a dorm, so you, uh, you guys in the chat. Toss some, toss some recommendations, toss some suggestions out. Bed sheets, extra pillowcases, milk crates, and a giant stash of pop tarts. Ah, oh, that does sound pretty good. <laughs> One, <laughs> George Foreman grill. Two, Lysol spray. Wow, <laughs> that's all you need. Um, all right, si Simon also sent over a uh, hundred yen, dude. Kai, thank you again, though, man. Super generous. Uh, but alright, Simon, where are you at? Ambushes aren't that bad, but when the Sasquatch side event had them, uh, ambushing my nightmares for weeks uh, afterwards, I didn't enjoy it. That is the last time we saw uh, ambushes like that, right? Maybe that was the final straw. Because, yeah, that... That was not good. Just to be clear, when, I, when I'm talking about, like, wanting to see... A little bit more uh, liveliness on the on the map, and I don't mind ambush and stuff like that. Uh, listen, everything in uh, the right quantities, right? Son of a. Everything in the right quantities, and there was it was it, it crossed the line. <laughs> so, uh, Sasquatch is cool, but he ain't that cool. Although, because of those ambushes, dude, I feel like all of us figured out how to fight Sasquatch uh, relatively quickly because he's, he's, he's annoying. He's a pain. Um, he could still easily kill you. Uh, even when you have like an ideal counter, but he's 10 times more annoying when you don't have an ideal counter. And uh, yeah, that seeing all those ambushes that at least made me it forced me to figure out, like, alright, what do I need to do against this guy? Because this dude's an annoying pain. All the kids, did you not see that people were spamming Brian Grant, I love you? You need new glasses? Um, were people spamming that? Is it a raid, or is people spamming? I don't know. I was I was thinking about uh, Golden Axe. Uh, Steatix and you know, over uh, another buck as well. Again, sorry, I'm uh, pretty delayed on these messages. Too many tangents, maybe. Uh, Santa, I think that the relic system worries me a little. Uh, unless it was like Mythic Weapons in EQ2. And you have to take a character on a special quest to get the relic like a trial. I would love that, man. I never played EverQuest 2. Never played the first one either, for that matter. But I would I would love that personally. I don't think we're going to get that. It doesn't sound like we're getting that, at least. But God, I would love it. Um, but yeah, we'll see. Like, it can't be that far in the future, right? Can't be that far away? Uh, I feel like it's... We're, we'll, we'll know soon enough exactly uh, how these relics work, uh, what they can do for us. Did you have you checked out the new Ultron yet? Uh, I have a bit, not a ton. If not, I recommend you uh, see him. He has insane damage, very enjoyable to play, especially with that double regen. Um, yeah, I've seen some videos too. We just looked at a video a few nights ago. Actually, someone sent one over on Twitter. Uh, we're taking a closer look at him, but uh, Lion's Mates, I think B Manny just took his to rank three not too long ago. Um, he's strong. He's definitely strong. Dude's good. That's true. Side events like Hercules this month make fighting champs easy with practice. Oh no! Do you have to fight Hercules a lot in the side event? I don't want to fight that guy a million times. Is that part of what made... I, I've heard a lot of people not really... I've heard, I've heard the side event is not too enjoyable this month. And if you have to fight Hercules a lot every single time... Ah, oh God. No wonder people don't like it. I mean, there might be other reasons too, but... 
Come on, man. Like, dude's... I'm sure he's awakened every single time, too, right? It's one thing if he wasn't awakened. But just, you have to sit there the whole time. I mean, I guess you could... You could nullify, right? Uh, maybe there's ways to speed it up, but... Oh, God. That's annoying, dude. EG, do you know any other games that were like MCOC and how they ended? Slow decline or a quick drop? Did the devs take a big risk and switch up the model or kept it the same and just fizzled out? Hinach, to be totally honest, man, I don't know any other games like MCOC. The only game I know like MCOC is the MCOC c clone, which is uh, Transformers. Um, but I don't know any other game like this. I mean... Uh, I guess there's like a Mortal Kombat and a, uh, a a DC game that has some similarities to this one, maybe? But, yeah, to be honest, man, MCOC... It's a pretty unique game. Um, it's pretty unique in a few different ways. Uh, part of that is due to like just when it came out. I think if you like I, people who uh, who have been on Reddit, the MCOC uh, Reddit to be exact, um, you'll probably remember hearing uh, a lot of people say like, "Dude, I used to go to I used to go to Reddit like every day for this game," and uh, I, I swear it was like once a week. People would bring up like, oh yeah, Kabam is, uh, you know, they're they're just like letting their game run out at this point. You know, mobile games, they only last two years and then they sunset them or whatever the term is, right? Uh, <laughs> and, <laughs> and yeah, man, people were saying that like four years ago. Um, I don't know how MCOC is going to end. But while Kabam is still making money, while they're still raking it in, it's 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 not going to end anytime soon. But I I I don't know how it's going to end. Um, I imagine it's going to be a fizzling. But like, what's going to cause that fizzling? I don't know. Um, like plenty of players have fizzled out, and people rotate in and out of the game all the time. But as far as like. MCOC as a whole goes. It's never really fizzled. Yet. It'll happen eventually, right? But like... How many years are we away from that? Who knows? I imagine it's still quite a while. Uh, dragons? Yeah, I don't know what Buck's saying. BG, you'd better start the side quest or you're gonna have two problems. Energy refills and the side quest. Trust me when I say you don't want both. Dragon, there's not much of a choice for me right now. <laughs> I refuse to uh, do anything extra in this game outside of, like, you know, AQ. And then, uh, I mean, I got to do some arena grind and got to keep the, uh, the golden battleships afloat somehow. Um, a few more days. I just need, a, I just need a like, a couple more days. Two to three more days. And then I, uh, hopefully, we'll be done with you know what, and then I can get back to actually playing the game more. It feels so weird to say. It's like, then I can get back to playing the game. Oh man, it's gonna feel so good. As if I'm not playing the game right now, but like, I'm not playing the game the way I want to be playing the game. Right now I'm doing like, uh, the minimum. But I want to be doing more. I want to grind for some of these champs and everything. But yeah, I'm going to try to do it all. As much as I can, at least. Oh, shoot, I'm seven minutes behind in the stream. Holy moly. Time to fix that. Each time there's a new MCU movie, people will look up a Marvel game. They'll become an MCOC for as long as they're making MCU movies. Yeah, yeah for the most part. I will say, like, eventually, there's going to be so many other Marvel games, right? But we're talking, like, again, quite a ways out. Like, 
let's let's say Marvel uh, Future Revolution, for example, right? Is there? I, I mean, I'm I'm kind of just guessing here. I don't know for sure, but it seems like there wouldn't really be much reason to play Marvel Future Fight anymore, is there? Maybe there is, but it almost it, it feels like that company just kind of cannibalized its own game, and they're like, "All right, everybody, Future Revolution, there you go." But they're like, and I don't know, we we could see that for other types of games too, like there's a isn't there isn't there like an actual uh, more standardized MOBA? Besides the the one that that Kabam made, uh, Realm of Champions, what is what is the other game? Is it called like Super War or something like that? Well, I'm looking it up. Yeah, Marvel's first MOBA game on mobile. So these two games, I feel like compete in the same space, right? But so far. Like, there's, there's been plenty of uh, Marvel fighting games over time. But so far, like, there's... Like, this is it for, for, for mobile. Like, this is... If you want to play a one versus one fighting game... Although, not, like, player versus player fighting game. But still, if you want to do, like, some kind of one versus one fighting thing... Which, I, I, the weird thing is, like, I almost don't even consider this to be a fighting game... Um, right? I consider, like, Street Fighter to be a fighting game, because, yeah, you do kind of, like, fight against another player. This is, like, this, this game, I've, I've always kind of thought of it as, like, a cross between an MMO, not an open world one. And it's also, I mean, it's also, you don't really see other players either, so, I don't know. It's not exactly an MMO, not a, not a traditional MMO, but there's there's those elements there. Uh, Pokemon, gotta catch them all, and like you know, the, just kind of the way the fights are in some ways. Um, with fighting elements to it, like I don't even know, I don't even know how you describe this game. But I don't think of it as the same type of game, even as like. Well, let's use another, another Marvel game, for example. I, 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 I don't I don't compare this game to like Marvel vs. Capcom. I consider them totally different categories of games. Marvel Strike Force. Um, we're is there is there any other games like Marvel Strike Force? Well, Marvel related. But I can see, like, turn-based strategy combat or whatever, because that's what that game is, right? I've never played Strike Force. I was never too interested in it. But I think that's what it is. The old Marvel movie adapted games on the Game Boy and DS were the original mobile device Marvel, ga Marvel games? Yeah. Pretty much, man. Um, unless you had a laptop, you're playing the... Uh, Arcade game for PC. This game is a cross between Super Smash Bros. and Yahtzee. <laughs> what? <laughs> um, yes. You are correct. <laughs> uh, alright. Let's go hit a different arena. Actually. Um, I gotta do AQ. I forgot about AQ. But I do not want to continue forget about it. Going to watch Ragnarok. All right, it's got later, dude. Okay, all I expect is to see that sarcastic comment, or I'll throw a fit in my head like a baby without being feed or fed or something like that or what? Feed or feed? Uh, I may have missed uh, part one to that comment because I don't know what you're talking about. Technically, anything portable and handheld is a mobile device. Well, 
I mean, like, Shaq could probably pick up an arcade machine. <laughs> he, could, he could turn that into a mobile device. Ah, uh, crap. I didn't want to go to a special three again. I'll just use a special two without the Furies. It's so weak, though. Alright, I need to pick up the pace. I am losing the damage race. I need to get good special twos off. Ugh, I can't pop a special two here. Not gonna have the Furies. Come on, friend. Alright, throw that special. While I wait, yes, beautiful. Just stall for like two seconds. Cool. We have two Furies here, though. Still. Alright, we got him down to half. A little bit under half time left. But I think we're alright now. I think we're on a good pace. Let's try to bait this out. Come on, yeah, man. Don't do this to me. This is one of the last few times I have to fight you. Actually, this might be the last time I fight this Ant-Man pre-buff. Because even next, like, next AQ is going to be a different variation. Oh, we got this. I'm going to end with, I'm guessing, 17 seconds left on the clock. Let's see what happens. God, it might be tighter than that, actually. He's throwing specials. Ah, oh, 16, 15, damn it. So close to my prediction. All right. It's not mobile if you've got to plug it in. Portable power supply. What if your power supply is, is mobile? Huh? Um, the side scroller Ben Affleck Daredevil movie game on the Game Boy was terrible in hindsight, but I probably spent more time on it as a kid than I do on MCOC now. That's mind boggling, really. Uh, I gotta look this up. What? Hold on. Daredevil Game Boy. Oh my god. It is a game. Um, hold on, I'm gathering some pictures. I feel like a lot of the Marvel games had very similar uh, aesthetics. Maybe, actually a lot of Game Boy Advance games just did too, right? So, maybe it's a combination of both. But all right, I've got some pictures here. Of course, we need the uh, the box art first. Box art looking solid. Got uh, some some realism in here, right? Um, I wonder if I wonder if any kids picked this up thinking, "Oh wow, look at the look at the graphics on this box. This is this is going to be a good representative of, of what you're going to see in game." Uh, then it looks like this. <laughs> This is Daredevil. Uh, dude, 15 gigahertz, what? Crazy. I like the way the, the villains look though, man. These are like the two guys from uh, the old, the original Power Rangers series, man. You got like the one larger oaf. Anyway. <laughs> Who has a sign like this? CPU. <laughs> Is that Electra? Dude, Electra. Looking good. What is this character? I don't know what this is. Is this... 
What is this character too, man? I don't even know. I don't know any of these characters. This is Kingpin though. Dang, look at Kingpin. Kingpin, dude, what, what? I feel like Kingpin needs to go see a chiropractor or something, man. He looks like his back hurts. He's just standing there. He's just straight. Bend your knees or something, dude. You're gonna pass out. What the heck is this character? The hell is this guy? Looks like Daredevil versus Stone Cold Steve Austin. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Ah, the memories. All right. It's enough Daredevil. Oh, I forgot this picture that I pulled up. The sweet rooftop. Look at this action. His limbs are just out as far as they could possibly go. <laughs> that was that was how they animated this guy. <laughs> uh, oh no, I shouldn't have looked at this icon. You know what? I felt like I was being a little bit hard on this game. Uh, for for a little while there, it's a Game Boy Advance game. They did what they could, right? And then I looked at this icon, and no, 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 dude, they could have done better. Come on, dude. What is this face? What face is he making? Dude. All right. Is that Mojo's brother? I think it is. Uh, Buddha? With a bat? It's the actual... Marvel character's name, or are you just saying that? Uh, how do you think a fully ramped up Hercules would do against 6.2.2 Sinister? Uh, does he gain fury buffs? Does Hercules gain fury buffs? He gains additional damage from his passive things. He gains precision, he gains cruelty. But I don't think he actually has a fury buff, right? If you have the Heimdall synergy... But his poison resistance isn't that high. He, he might be able to blast through quickly enough, but I don't expect it to be that great of a time, to be honest. Alright, sadly I gotta use King Groot here. Uh, I would have liked to use my Colossus, but he's seen better days. He's not that strong at the moment. So we're gonna have to power through with Mr. Groot. That's alright, because look at those poisons, dude. Get wrecked, goblin. Got seven poisons right now. Come on, throw your special right away. Don't play this game with me, dude. Very passive right now. Got bad feelings about this. Hey, there we go. All right. Cool, man. Should be able to get to a nice special two. Not really gaining any theories though. It's all right. Let her rip. This fight's actually faster than the Ant-Man one at least, but a little bit more deadly. I gotta be a little bit more careful against green gobs. Come on, friend. Notice how I just completely ignore the uh, objective that I'm supposed to do mid-fight, the uh, So Saith Doom. If you guys ever, like if you guys don't do map 7 now, and uh, you're thinking about doing map 7, and you're worried like, oh man, So Saith Doom, I gotta intercept and stuff like that. Nah. I don't. <laughs> I just ignore it. Sometimes I, I go for intercepts with King Groot just because... I think it's kind of fun because uh, he's got this long light attack reach. That's pretty much it. I think I failed like the last three or four that have popped up. Uh, Penny Parker confirmed champ. Penny Parker is confirmed, yeah. Uh, who should be the next five star to rank up Aegon, Torch, or Spider-Ham all awakened. What are your goals? 
Those are very different champions. I mean, Torch and Spider Ham, I guess they have some similarities. Uh, if you're looking to do the Abyss, though, um, then I would go with Aegon. You know what? I'm going to stop saying Labyrinth. Um, because I think Labyrinth should be done once you're Thronebreaker and you, you do the challenges. And that excludes Aegon. So if you're looking to do the Abyss, then ranking up Aegon can be nice. Buddy, come on. I'm going to time out. Dude. Come on, come on, come on. Give me some critical hits. No! I thought this was going to be a faster fight than the Ant-Man one. Oh my god. <sighs> anyway, if you're looking to do the Abyss, then Aegon's fantastic. If you're not doing the Abyss, then I would, I would go Torch. And honestly, Torch, you should have ranked up for the Abyss as well anyway. So you might as well start with Torch. And then, uh, if you want to do the Abyss, you can rank up Aegon afterwards. That sucked, guys. <laughs> so stupid. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do one more fight, because Mike hasn't moved yet. See, this is, Mike's path is the one with Miles Morales. And uh, I want one of us to approach this Spidey before it gets too late. That way both of us can uh, make sure to finish the path without it taking forever. So we gotta do one more fight. Still have my childhood Game Boy in storage somewhere and it looks like it was mauled by a wild Chupacabra or something. What'd you do with that thing, dude? I gotta say, as a kid, I always took care of my stuff. Well, game-related stuff. I never let uh, that stuff break or... I don't know. Always try not to drop it, that kind of thing. God, I could have really used that extra health from that last fight. Stupid timeout. Uh, I'm gonna stall because I don't want to hit this guy while I have my Furies up. Push him back a little bit while he's blocking, that's fine. Alright, now we can hit him again. Should have maybe just went to a special three instead of the special two, but whatever. We still got time to do that. All right. I'm gonna try not to kill him with this, so I hit the special immediately. He might die. Please don't die. Please don't die. Please don't. Whoo! Nice. Good. That nice healing. Alright, that's all we need. We're almost done with the path. Good. Alright, now we can get out of AQ. EG is I am okay with suicide. Seems like recoil would get ya. He's got steady healing from the poison, so yeah, he's fine with suicides. Yep. Um, and if you're ever, like, really hurting on health, where you don't want to take any more recoil damage, um, like, if you, if you're, if you're starting the fight with, with 100% health, I've, I've used specials and also ended the fight with 100% health, but if you are going into a fight with, you're already at, like, 20%, and yeah, you don't want to chance any additional damage, then yeah, you can, um, just pop special threes or something. Alright, back to the arena grind. Uh, what's up, Haley? Why not? Is that why not at me? Or why not at someone else? I don't remember what I was saying. <laughs> Korean Challenge, uh, volume, volume 2, Complete Abyss with only two star versions of Doom, Torch, Aegon. Oh, Cello Master. 
please no. King Groot being uh, pillow hands for the last AQ cycle. Yep. This is it. You have Karate Mike in your alliance. I have Spin Kick Jimmy in mine. <laughs> Not the same. Dude, Spin Kick Jimmy, that dude's legit. Spin Kick Jimmy. I heard one time he tried to kick a uh, an apple off of his friend's head. Well, he visited him in the hospital afterwards, so respect for that at least. Yes, why not hit him with all of your furies? Ah, oh, okay, okay. So, Electro, he reflects a portion of damage. It's um <clears throat> it's not a it's not a set amount of damage per hit. It uh he does more damage if you do more damage, basically. You hit him for a thousand, he's gonna reflect. How much damage does it even reflect? I don't remember. 300, maybe 30% on like that. So yeah, he'll he'll return like 300 of that damage. But if you're only hitting him for you know 300 damage, well, he's not gonna reflect as much. And uh I could still build my power. Because, like, either way, you still have to hit the opponent a certain amount of times to kill him, right? But I could still build power, build to a special three. And then once my Furies activate, I could, I could activate my own special three. And um, uh, King Groot, he heals on special three. And it's increased if you have Furies. Or one Fury, at least. So, yeah. Um, also, just slowing down the fight in general when playing King Groot is not a bad idea. Uh, it It's in AQ. I mean, you just saw me time out, right? So that's not good. Of course, I just lost 50% of my health when I timed out. But in the average situation, when it's not day five of AQ, um, yeah, you just get additional healing cycles. And it's really not too shabby. Not too bad at all. Who is today's pain in Summer of Pain? Oh, crap. I forgot it was Summer of Pain. No. I don't know. I don't think anyone knows for sure. I know, I'm know. i pretty sure we have an Emma coming up. Could be Emma this week. She's on the, uh, the little thumbnail in game. Oh, man. Summer of Pain's great. But I was really looking to just focus tomorrow. I got some work done today, but it was a very distracting day. There were uh, things going on. Anyway. I had to put on pants, guys. Can you believe that? I actually had to put on pants and go outside. What a day. GG, who to take to rank 2, Cap IW Sig 20 or Torch Unduped? Uh, content to do with 6.3 onwards and variant explorations. Already got Quake, Hype, Doom, Apoc, Mags, Fury at rank 5. Um, hold on, hold on. Okay, I have to double check to make sure you didn't already have a Torch at rank 5. The answer is Torch. Torch is ridiculous, man. He's he's so good. Both those champs are great, but Torch is like beyond next level. So yeah. Uh, Haley and yeah, over Buck saying, "Geez, uh, Jack didn't mention any of that. Dang, throwing Jack under the bus." <laughs> Hold on. What did Jack say? Uh, oh, he also said, "While I have your attention, Twitter, please." Okay. Uh, well, Jack mentioned part of that. <laughs> hey, he, he mentioned to heal up more. That was the most important part. <laughs> it was a simplified answer. Uh, alright, let me see. Twitter, who to rank up next? Should be going with a Mystic skill or Terax. Getting to Uncollected is rough. Yes, it is. Um, Mystic skill or Terax, though. I don't think you need another skill champ ranked up. 
I think Kingpin is 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 great. I wouldn't I wouldn't I wouldn't rank up either of the Panthers. Um, I mean, this one got buffed at least, but eh, I don't think you really need it. I also wouldn't rank up Spidey, so I wouldn't go with Skill. I also wouldn't go with Mystic. Um, well, I mean, Hood is about to get buffed soon, so could be a good option. But uh, for right now, at least, Dormammu, Thor, not very good, and Hood is to be determined. Um, so that leaves Terax then, huh? I think Terax is a fine champ to rank up. Um, I can never remember what Terax's Awaken ability is, though. Let me go look at that. I'm not sure how much... Here, here's my concern. I'm not sure how much Terax is going to help... Uh, you get uncollected. He might help. Let me see. If Tarax has less than one power cosmic at the start of the fight, he gains two. Also, Tarax starts each fight with his rock field active. Uh, and a percentage of his max power. Dang. He gains a lot from his awakened ability. Mmm... It's like my higher ranked fives are great, but my lower ones, I just don't know. Yeah. That's exactly how it is. Because, um, yeah, you're... A lot of these champions are not super useful. Um, She-Hulk is good, but you're not really looking for another science right now, right? Because, like, if you were, then honestly, I would, I would say Torch. But I'm guessing you're missing Tier 4 Class Catalyst, Tier 4 Science Catalyst. Because Torch would be a great champion to get ranked up. Uh, could be a nice big help. But like... Yeah, a lot of these other champs... They're not bad. Like She-Hulk, Terax... Um, there is some use for Gladiator Hulk. And Hood's about to get buffed. But they're not so clear-cut the way that like Doom, Kingpin... Um, Torch are, in my opinion... So, I wouldn't be too quick to, to rank up any, any of the champs, any of the skills, uh, Mystics, or Terax, to be totally honest with you, Haley. I don't know if you can delay things a little bit. Um, I think Terax is fine as a champion, but again, I'm not sure how much he's going to help you to get uncollected, and when he's unawakened, that just... Kind of makes me think, don't go with him. And uh, just hope, hopefully you pull a, a another Cosmic soon or something like that. Um, Terax needs his Awaken ability. I wrote him hard to Uncollected. Okay. Okay, so we have someone here who, who uh, has that experience with Tarax, but they're also saying he needs to be awakened, so, yeah. Uh, Haley, thank you for another buck as well. Maybe I should just keep my items, wait until I could rank up Doom again. <laughs> yeah, Doom, Torch. There's other champions too, but I, I think you just need to pull some new ones, pretty much. Uh, Alright, let's keep the grind going. Need help, buddy? Resource rank up. Howard the Duck, Nebula, Green Gobbles, Infinity Man, Vulture, Punisher 29, and Sig 40 Sentinel. Whom to rank 2? Ready at 565 Sentinel. No content remaining except Abyss. Um, is this just a looking to get tech catalyst out of the overflow type of rank up? Because, yeah, you don't need any of those champs ranked up, man. And if it is just a looking to burn some catalyst, then follow your heart. Go with uh, the champion that just 
you naturally gravitate towards because none of those are are needed. Um, if I had to pick one myself, I'd probably either go Howard the Duck. We go Howard the Duck or maybe Vulture. Honestly, Sentinel even, maybe. Um, he's not useful since you have the 565, but like in the future, maybe. He's been useful for some of like Summer of Pain challenges and stuff like that. Um, but yeah. Also, just. You don't need any of those champs, so rank up whichever one you gravitate towards. Casual buyers sending over five saying, hey, BG, I've completed all content 100% except Act 6.4 and 7.2, 100%. Which one should I go for first? Is one easier than the other, in your opinion? So, uh, Act 6 got nerfed. I haven't done it since it got nerfed. I think they're similar in terms of difficulty now. I think 7.2, a lot of people have said that they've enjoyed more than Act 6. Um, so, yeah, you might enjoy Act 7 more. But if that's all you need to 100% to Act 6, then I actually would go with Act 6. Um, the Act 6 rewards, they're, they're pretty good for, like, 100% completion. If you were not so close to 100% completion, then I, I would have said just do Act 7. But, uh, let's take a look at the Act 6 rewards. Yeah, look at this, man. You get a tier 5 class catalyst crystal. You get 4 tier tier 5 basic, 8 tier 2 alpha, a 6 star nexus. Uh, what is this crystal even? I don't even remember. Is it a rank up gem? Oh, it's that's the awakening gem crystal. Uh, 2. 2 of these 1 or 2 rank up gems, 3 million gold, uh, plus all the stuff that you get here for finishing um, 6.4 as well. So another 25%. Uh, are these? Yeah, these are the rank up gems. More tier five basics. More six star shard. Dude, there's just there's just so much here. We got cav crystals that are the the new buffed ones and all that. Um, it was five point five million gold in total. So yeah, dude, if if you're only if that's the only chapter you have left for Act Six, I would say do Act Six. You've got time before uh, the rest of um act seven comes out you know 7.3 the beta for it just happened but we're still like a couple months uh out from uh, actually being able to do the content and then of course um we still have one more chapter after 7.3 so i'm gonna spin out a few crystals tonight uh let's actually grab three of these but yeah, casual buyer, thank you very much for the five, dude. Kabam should really add Harold, Aunt May. Wait, what? Even though it was an April Fool's joke, she could be a Kabam original. Harold, Aunt May? I don't know what that is. But let's get some units. But Vulture is pretty fun, and he's good for Cavalier tech chapters most of the time, is he? Did not know that it was good for the uh, the Cavalier. Oh man, I just discovered you can't add hashtag Canadian as a filter. Who are all the Canadians? Yeah, you got to go to uh, Aunt May for that. Luckily, Aunt May has you covered, dude. Um, nice, we can still see the crystal results. Come on, damn it. It's gold. Uh, here we go. These are all the Canadians in the game. If you're doing the Canadian, uh, Labyrinth, there's, it's really only one choice. You're going to be using Sabretooth with Sasquatch Synergy, and you're taking Guardian, Old Man Logan, and Wolverine for Synergies. They have the best Synergies.
Alright, come on, man. Let's get some units, please. Who's the best champion in the game? This game doesn't really work like that. My answer is Ghost, but yeah, you need a variety of champions. They're all just different tools, basically. Some some champs are hammers, some are wrenches. You need a whole toolkit of champions to use. Just gold again, son of a... Uh... Oh, Aunt May as a Herald of Galactus. Okay, okay. I thought... thought, like, Harold, just the name. <laughs> I was like, Harold Aunt May? Who's that? <laughs> Who's Harold? Tried using Ghost for 6.1.5, but the healing is so annoying. And do you think Kang might get a buff eventually? Um, I don't know. Kang already kind of got a buff through synergy, um, through Apoc synergy. So I would say if Kang gets buffed, it won't be for a very long time. Shouldn't be for a very long time, at least. GG, given general relativity, I, I can't read, dude. <laughs> Given general relativity uh, and the warping of space-time, why does your stream seem to go by so quickly even when I'm not moving? Well, you see, Doug, it all has to do with Jello. Now, if you think about Jello, you think it's stationary, but it's actually rapidly uh, jiggling back and forth repeatedly. And all those vibrations working together, all the Jello in the world. Uh, if you if you if you put them together, you see that they actually uh, wiggle together. But because we can't see that, uh, it's it, it still has that impact on the world, even though we're not seeing it. And that's why, that's the answer, dude. Uh, casual buyer sending over another five. Thank you, dude. Saying thanks. Really appreciate the time you spend. Actually caring about your subscribers. Keep it up. Hashtag one of a kind. Dude, thank you, man. I appreciate that support. I wouldn't be able to, to do this at all if it weren't for people like yourself. So thank you very much. Much appreciated. Thank you. <laughs> Jello harmonics. Yes. This is nonsense. Hmm. Prove me wrong. <laughs> you don't know. It could be true, okay? There's a thesis out there. It's 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 pending, uh, you know, uh, peer review and all that, but you'll see. One day. One day people will understand. <laughs> um... Here's what I'm going to do, guys. We're going to play a little game right now. I'm going to open up a four-star crystal. If it's a mutant champion out of this random four-star crystal, uh, then I'm also going to pop open one featured five-star crystal. Only one try. Has to be a mutant champion. And it ha like the mutant class, okay? Because I isn't there like technically, isn't like magic immune or something like that or I don't know. Um, has to be mutant class type of champion. And if it is, one five star featured crystal. And if that five star featured crystal is also a mutant champion. Well, then I'll pop open another feature five star crystal. Jello quantum entanglement is now, or is how astronauts of the future will communicate with Earth. Thank you. Finally, someone recognizes it. All right, let's see. Come on. Come on. Please. Ah, so close. Even though none of those were mutants. Well, rip. No featured five star today. 
played the game, guys. I can't. I don't even know if that's a win or or, or a loss for me, because uh, I didn't necessarily want to pop open a crystal. I kind of do want to pop open a crystal. It's been a while. I'm getting antsy on these damn things. But uh, at the same time, I'll just save those for a nice big video. Just thought it'd be a nice bonus for uh, for anyone in here tonight. But anyway, um, <laughs> you know you want to. I know, I do. All right, anyway, uh, I'm going to head out of here for the night, though, guys. I will be back tomorrow. Oh, so it's Summer of Pain, I guess. So, yeah, I got to do Summer of Pain. I'm usually late to it. Uh, I'm sure I'm going to show up two, three, four hours after it's released already. But um, I'd still like to stream it day one. Um, sooner the better. So, yeah. Uh, I'll be live at some point during the day for that. And then uh, nighttime as well. So, before I go, though, massive shout out to... Kai for being the biggest D once again. Kai, thank you very much, dude. Very much so appreciated. Your ridiculous generosity. Thank you, man. Don't do day stream. Do Summer of Pain during the night stream. It probably would be more chill. I get a lot of... Uh, a lot of... Weird comments during the daytime, during uh, Summer of Pain usually, but nah, I'm going to keep the tradition going. Weird comments and all. <laughs> I'll be live at some point during the day. Anyway, I'll see you guys, uh, I'll see you guys then. Night, everybody.